Max Guevara, number 34 of the class of 1992, was an electrifying running back on two ground and pound LaSalle teams of the early 90s. Nicknamed the Panamanian Nightmare, Guevara gave his opponents a lot of sleepless nights with his running skills. Listed at 6 foot 2 inches and only 170 pounds, Max Guevara had a powerful surge through the line on his inside running game, and he also had breakaway speed once he got past the linebackers, racking up a lot of long gainers, many which ended in the end zone. Seeing Guevara break free and watching his number 34 could make you think of his professional contemporaries Bo Jackson and Herschel Walker, both of whom excelled both inside and outside when toting the ball. Max Guevara was a first-team All-Catholic running back in his junior year and was a devastating component of a great rushing attack in his senior year for an Explorer team that lost only one game. So when you think of LaSalle football, remember Max Guevara, class of 1992. Ryan Cunahan, number 19 of the class of 2014, looked like part of the quarterback rotation at 6 foot 1 inch and 200 pounds and wearing a signal caller's number. But Cunahan was an ultra quick defensive end with the nose of a bloodhound for the football, making many great plays in the backfield, including sacks, fumble recoveries, and interceptions in addition to stuffing the run. Cunahan had the speed to get by some mega-sized offensive tackles, and he also had great cross-field pursuit on plays to the other side. He came up big in big games, notching several sacks in a PIAA quarterfinal game in his junior year against Parkland. And in the state semifinals that year, he intercepted a pass at the line of scrimmage and raced in for a touchdown to bring the blue and gold close at halftime of that game against Coatesville. Cunahan also had some touches on offenses as a sure-handed receiver, but it was on defense that he shone. His block of a point after touchdown in his senior year against Father Judge allowed the Explorers to come back for a one-point victory. Cunahan was a two-time All-Catholic, winning first-team All-Catholic and All-City honors in his senior year. So when you think of LaSalle football, remember Ryan Cunahan, class of 2014.
Max Molyneux, number nine, from the class of 2004, was a multi-purpose offensive player for the Explorers. He was an accomplished runner, sometimes finding a gap to break through in the smallest of holes. He had some great runs from scrimmage, and also had some nice returns from kickoffs. Molino was also a reliable kicker, and in one victory in his junior year against Germantown Academy, he accounted for all of LaSalle's points with a touchdown, a field goal, and an extra point. Max Molino also had great hands, and often would swing out of the backfield to receive a pass in stride, and his yards after catch showed off his running back skills. He could also turn on the Jets with some breakaway speed once he was in the open and scored many key touchdowns for the blue and gold. So when you think of LaSalle football, remember Max Molyneux, class of 2004. Frank Daniel, number 25 of the class of 1963, was a two-year starter at quarterback for the Explorers in the early 60s, amassing a 16-5-0 record as the starting signal caller. Though LaSalle did not win the Catholic League crown in either season, Daniel helped to lead the squad to the championship game in his junior year with his quarterback play and his leadership. Daniel was a fundamentally sound field general for an offense centered on the run, and his sleight of hand techniques on his handoffs allowed the running backs opportunities to break through for big gains. But Daniel was an accomplished runner in his own right, featuring many bootleg runs during games and making some last minute decisions on whether to pass or not in his bootleg options. Daniel was a fine passer but ironically, his best passing game came in the championship game against Monsignor Bonner in 1961. LaSalle scored only six points in that game on a Daniel touchdown pass, but at least three bombs by Daniel were dropped by his receivers, leaving Frank Daniel and his teammates forever thinking, what if a couple of those passes were caught? So when you think of LaSalle football, remember Frank Daniel. Class of 1963.
Chikwer Obi Amachi, number 15 of the class of 1999, was the quintessential game breaker for LaSalle at the end of the last century. Obi Amachi's many long touchdowns were memorable to all who saw him play. In his junior and senior seasons, he had several touchdowns of 50 yards or more, tearing the heart out of his opponents. Amachi could line up at tailback, slot back, receiver, and kick returner, and once he got the ball in his hands, you held your breath and wondered if yet again he would break loose and into the end zone. He was a vital component in LaSalle's high-flying offense in his junior year, and he was an explosive feature of a more conservative offense in his senior year, a big reason why the LaSalle squad surprised everyone but themselves in winning an unexpected Catholic League crown. As an acknowledgement for his incredible offensive production, Obi Amachi garnered first-team All-Catholic and All-City honors in his senior year. So when you think of LaSalle football, remember Chikwer Obi Amachi, class of 1999.